This very impressive estate here is now a five-star expensive, expensive, expensive hotel, but at one time belonged to the King of Love of Yugoslavia and was his little summer resort. The entire beach is private. And if you want to stay there, then you can certainly use the beach. And out there is absolutely breathtaking little Sveti Stefan, reached by that causeway, little isthmus. If you want to actually get over onto Sveti Stefan, you have to be a hotel guest. They're filling up a couple excursion boats that are going over to either Budva or Petra. You cannot actually get onto Sveti Stefan unless you're staying in the hotels, all luxury hotels inside it. For example, President Tito used to go stay there. We're in Virpaza or something like that. It's spelled V I R P A Z A R. And we are having dinner at restaurant, Canoba or Tavern, Terry, Vinoteca. We never know what we're ordering, whether or not we're ordering too much, whether or not we're not ordering enough. And it is a total surprise every day when the food comes. I guess that's what our hotel is called, Hotel 13th of July. An icy cold shower, the woman at the hotel said that there would be hot water if we'd let it run long enough, but after 30 minutes I thought that was long enough, it was still cold. Gave up the ghost and jumped in anyhow. So at least I'm clean for another day. We're only here for one night and moving into the mountains tomorrow. Just the beginning, the starter to the meal, by the way, the red wine. All their wines are excellent in Montenegro. I am a very happy camper. Is this your restaurant? Yes. Yes? You, your father too? Or? No, no. And just, business. Just you. Are you Terry? No. Terry and uh, big, big friend. Okay. Big friend, Terry. It looks wonderful. Take a look at this steak. I'm so glad we just ordered one of everything. We may order Delicious. more. Delicious. The big thing here in this town, whatever it is called, is to go out onto Lake Skarda and bird watch. But right here in front of our hotel is this monument to the partisans who fought during World War II against the Nazis. You can see the sign right there. And it's really a shame that we don't have any time to do any hiking because Montenegro's mountain paths are supposed to be extremely well marked. And if this is indication, I agree. Blue always means an easier path. Red is always more difficult.